Hey everyone, it's Demo here. Today I'm going to teach you the riff that starts the solo of the song Fate. So the whole song is written with C standard tuning. And in, in this case I decided to use like um, the scale that is called um, C or in this case it's actually E phrygian dominant that had us so the minor third and you will see a little further why it's having that note there but first of all if we just uh, take a look at the, what's happening in the beginning of that riff that tapping riff so I just started the tapping part with the um, I usually may actually pick the first note. I'm not having it right now to pick, but may pick it. It's the seventh fret um, on the E string, and then I hammer on the eighth and tenth, and then I usually add some the tapping flavor with the twelfth fret on the E string, slide it to the thirteenth and then slide it back to the 12th. So, the whole thing slowly. Then, on the next string, I started with hammering the first note on the 10th fret of the B string. And then I kind of used the pull-offs to and go towards the 7th fret. So it's 10, seven, uh, 8, Seven, then back with hammer-ons to the tenth, and then again doing the same thing with the right hand here, with the same fret. Now we're having a little bit different uh, approach with the pattern, so to say. Um, I'm playing now on the G string, ten, ten, tenth fret. 9th fret, 7th, and back again to the 10th. But now we're doing the slide thing from the 13th fret to 14th fret, and then go back to the um, 7th fret with the same approach of the pull offs. So on the G string, I'm playing. So, if we just take a look at what we're having this at this point. So if you noticed, you know, on the B string, I played the minor third here. The, the G note. But then when I went to back to the G string, I tapped the major third here on the 13th fret. And now let's just check out the last half of the notes here. Then I'm actually using the same approach with the left hand or same fingering. So 10, 9 and 7. But then the right hand moves to the 14th fret and do the slice to the 5th. Do the 15th, sorry. And then on the A string, I'm using the same approach than in the, in the beginning. So then again, 10, 8, 7. And then again, the same tapping approach than on the A string, uh, sorry, on the D string. Then I slide to the 5th fret, back to the 7th. So let's take a look at the first half of the opening lick, slowly. Almost 
almost done with the solo at this point or the opening lick. I know this is quite a lot of like um, quite a monster lick to use, but uh, I really love it. So we're still having the um, tapping arpeggio there. So theoretically, uh, why I chose to use this was to uh, because I noticed that I'm using kind of like the yeah the E Phrygian dominant, which is like I mean this like really dark sound, but I needed like um, somehow a way to end this lick and also build tension. At first I was thinking that like using the pinch harmonic was the way to go, but I didn't like it, so I thought like maybe I'd build the tension with the note choices instead. So because theoretically speaking, um, the F diminished same notes that we have in the E, e dominant, e, uh, yeah, e dominant chord. The root is a bit different, so. So, therefore, I decided to use the um, uh, F diminished chord instead here. So we start from the 8th fret on the A string, 11th, and then to the 14th, the right hand. Then we switch everything one fret uh, down and do the same thing. So 7, 10, 13 on the G string. And then do the same again on the E string. And then go back with the pull offs. So everything slowly played. how to play the first riff of the solo of the song uh, Faith. I hope you enjoyed it and let me know if there's any other solo parts from my catalog that you would love to learn. Um, this is by far my one of my favorite solos and with this solo I, I decided to challenge myself more technically so and I, I think you can also hear it so have a lot of fun shredding with this solo. I'll put a link to the pack backing track below, so please let me know uh, if you learned this solo and remember to tag me wherever you learned this so I'll know and, uh, that you've learned this and also you know, I, I would love to give some feedback and uh, of course share your take of this, this solo. So thanks a lot for, for um, for watching, hit thumbs up if you like this video and remember to subscribe for more content like this. See you on the next one. Goodbye.